So, hello guys. Uh, so, AUT updated, and I've seen that on the on the server, on the Discord server. And they added uh, the OP OP no Mi and the uh, Mirror Mirror no Mi, like they reworked it. And I wanted to check that out since uh, they said, yeah, it's gonna be a pretty big update. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be new. The game is gonna be maybe fresh again and stuff. Okay, okay. so I checked it out, and um, I've noticed uh, that the game removed some of the bad mechanics it had. Uh, for example. Um, you are no longer uh, forced to use the ability banner to get uh, the stands you want. You can just get, you can just uh, do the quests uh, associated to them. For example, if you if you wanna get vampire, just talk to Dio Brando and then he he's gonna give the quest and you'll be able to get vampire. Like here, uh, the big things uh, in this update are mounts. Now the bike system is totally reworked into m mounts, and I find that really cool. But uh, now let's talk about the big things in this update, which is basically uh, the two new specs they added. And uh, first, gonna tell you just how to get the mirror mirror spec and then I'm gonna tell you how to get the open open spec. So uh, to start off, uh, so to get your mirror mirror spec you just uh, need uh, to firstly kill uh, the surgeon of death which is uh, Falgal Low. Uh, he's in punk hazard so you'll just uh, you just have to talk to this guy with a bible in your inventory like in your bank i have it here kuma's book and then he's just gonna spawn here every 30 minutes i think or so and you have to kill him and get a, a heart this this is the item you need to get this is a heart okay and then you have to go to valentine island boom we, we're here uh, just gonna use my mouth and then you'll go near here and then you'll hold your heart and then it's gonna summon boa i'm not gonna summon it because i don't need it but uh, you'll do it and then fight her and you have a uh, uh, 50% chance to get a uh, get a flower and finally uh, you'll just have to go back to the main spawn uh, main spawn boink and then you just have to roll her in the ability banner so it's uh, not really that annoying to get item wise compared to gojo it's uh, easier and uh, faster and next to get the op op no Mi spec i'm just going to show you the i'm just going to show you the good method of doing it because uh, it's actually annoying to get it if you want to uh, uh, just farm bosses and stuff. So you'll just go here near the desert approach, like near the soccer field. And then you'll talk to a uh, big guy, uh, the flamingo, and you'll have to speak to him uh, with a uh, level 200 ability. And then he's gonna give you uh, three quests, if I recall. Yeah, yeah, three quests, and you you just have to complete them. It's very easy. It's not. Uh, it's uh, more long than hard. So uh, you you'll have to collect materials or uh, kill some bosses, uh, kill Boha and Cock. I recall and you do that you farm marrow during this quest and then uh, you, you'll have just to get a, a low cap uh, which you get from the surgeon of death's bath and then speak to him while having the cap in your inventory or in your uh, or in your hot bar I don't remember uh, with uh, more than 2.5 million U coins and then you'll get the Ope Ope no Mi fruit and you can eat it and then you just get the spec instantly so I'm just gonna showcase those two uh, so here I have my uh, my little dummy, yeah, my little moving dummy, you know. So now uh, I've got the. So now I'm just gonna show you the mirror mirror to me. So first you've got the M ones. First you got the perfume fever, so it's kind of a barrage, you know. And then boom, you kick him at the end. You've got uh, next uh, you've got the perfume fever magna. So it's just a double kick. After that you've got Pistol Kiss. So there's two variants. Uh, there's one which you don't hold. Boom. Does a little bit of damage. And then you have the hold version which uh, applies the petrification passive onto the opponent and does more damage. So there's then Petrifying Burst. So you just jump in the air and then you throw some arrows. There's lovely, lovely leg work. So uh, you just uh, spin around and do some like boom, 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 boom. Some uh, love thingies. It's actually very useful to catch uh, to catch people running in the game. Then you've got the mirror, mirror, mellow. So it costs meter, but it's very useful to uh, to deal damage in a big area. Then you've got uh, Cupid's Yumi. I don't know what that is. How to pronounce it? It's maybe Yummy or Yumi. I don't know. And then you just shoot. Uh, an arrow. Then you've got Heartless, so it is um, it is uh, the beat down of it.
So yeah, you're just spinning around and kicking the, the opponent. It's a beat down, it's very useful to deal uh, a lot of damage in a quick little move. Then you've got the Queen Stomp. So it is a, another grand move. It, I think it's inspired by the old move uh, people used to do back in the days. And then last move you've got uh, uh, Infatuation. Just summon a big heart and make the, the opponent spin and it does a, a, a big amount of damage for a, a, such a small move. Then, the moment you've all been waiting for, maybe, I don't know, is uh, so the Ope Ope no Mi uh, Showcase. So here are the M1s. Uh, here's the grab. So now I'm just gonna do all of the moves in the room, but there are some moves that I'm gonna showcase to you uh, outside of the room. So you've got the room. So the size is determined by uh, your special, like your uh, special stat and ability. And uh, maybe also the the level, like the level of your uh, ability, I think. So first of all, you would ride your knife. You can continue uh, your uh, M1 string after that. You've got mess. So you seal the opponent's heart in a, in a in an ice cube, and then you you can click five times on it, dealing um, uh, ten true damage per clicks. After that, you've got tact. So you summon big rocks. You can hold it to summon more, and then you just press T, and it goes onto the onto the guy. Then you've got injection shot, amputation cleave. So it's gonna apply some sort of. Uh, of effect where the opponent gets his control reversed and uh, is gonna he's gonna M1 slowly. Look, as you can see, he's like uh, weirdly moving. So yeah, he's he has slower attack speed and stuff. After that, you've got shambles. You just uh, so you just have to put your mouse over the over in the opponent and then you just press J and bam, it switches place. It costs no meter, so it's actually really good. Then you've got surgical slashes. Boom, boom, boom. After that, you've got uh, Puncture Willy. I think it's how you pronounce it. It does a large amount of damage in a large zone. So I think it's the most dangerous um, uh, move of the of the kit. Then you've got Counter Shock. Small range, medium damage, so it's balanced, I guess. And then finally, uh, you have the gamma knife. Which is, uh, in my opinion, a very, very good beatdown. It's very quick. I like the quick beatdowns uh, better than the one where you uh, where you just destroy your opponent for uh, 5,000 hours and uh, deal like uh, 2 damage. I'm, I'm totally not talking about Tusk beatdown in YBA. No, no, no. And just to finish off, we have the counter shock outside of the room. It's a, a grab move. It just uh, does less damage though than the one in the room. Yeah, so uh, other moves that only uses your sword are um, usable outside of the room. So you can use uh, injection shot, you can use amputation leave, and the counter shock, and the and the X. So it's uh, it's uh, recommended to just pop your room and then just fight the guy, but it's he's just gonna run out of it. So uh, I suggest you upgrade your special to just get a bigger room. So yeah, uh, that was all for this uh, quick video. I wanted to showcase the OP Open Me and I'm just gonna give a quick opinion about the update. So the update added a lot of things, but maybe, maybe, maybe it needs like uh, some more stuff to be added like, uh, or maybe removed like this. I don't really like that fact that you have to pay actual money to just trade reroll. And uh, basically mounts, uh, the mount system is perfect. I wouldn't have done better. The PVE is still here. It's I, I guess it's fine maybe that they added levels, but it, maybe they should uh, they shouldn't go back to the old uh, AUT, but make make it easier maybe to get levels uh, levels and less uh, annoying to uh, get your moves because like uh, level 115 to just get the gamma the gamma knife is very annoying because uh, I know you can do boundless tower, but it's very very annoying to just farm in it and then you have to reach the point where you actually get e exp and it's like wave 15 or 20 so it's very very long and very very cheap
prestigious. Overall, it's a very good update, but I think they maybe need to add maybe more specs and uh, maybe to add, I don't know, uh, stains, sleaze. I know they're reworking uh, Crazy Diamond, but it's not gonna bring up the hype because maybe people are now looking for um, specs outside, uh, outside of JoJo because JoJo isn't the talk of the day anymore, as Eclipse said. And yep, that was it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you enjoyed it, uh, please maybe leave a like and subscribe. It would be very helpful. And I'll see you in the next video. See ya!